everyone, welcome to Black Desert Online. I, my buddy that got me into this game, suggested we start playing it again, so here we are playing Black Desert, and I was watching my Timber Crate and Trade video the other day, and that was never really intended to be a guide. Someone had told me about Timber Crates, I hadn't really done any trading in the first place, and I just made some crates and turned them in and made a video of myself doing that. Now, it's been pointed out in the comments section that uh, without Master 2 trading, without the Desert Trade buff, um, you know, not building them in the furthest location from their destination, all these things. Um, you end up not making any money doing it. In fact, you could be losing money. So, um, you know, after a little bit of research and a little bit of math, uh, uh, I found out that, yes, they're correct, that uh, it's not re really profitable to do this. Uh, if, you're not, if you're buying stuff off the market especially, you're probably losing money. And so, yeah, it is advisable. Have Master 2 trading, get the desert buff. Otherwise, you're not really making a whole lot of money. However, I did go through the whole process of... Why do I have the little... No. Um, I did go through the process of getting uh, Calfian crates going and, and Media crates. Uh, and I wanted to share that with everyone who's looking to do timber crates. Um, so, um, for new players, essentially, like, there's something in the game called trade. One of the things that you can trade is timber crates. Timber crates are made by a worker at a wood workbench within a city. So, um, the... You know, when you do trading, uh, the, one of the major things that affects price is the distance you take the item from its point of origin. So, um, if you're building crates, the ideal the situation is one where you're building in one corner of the map and transporting them and selling them in the other corner of the map. So, what I was doing, and I think what most people do, is they build their crates down here in Trent and then transport them over here to uh, Ancato Inner Harbor. And then, for the desert buff, you need to take your packs from there to Valencia. Now, we're going to talk about the node chain going there in just a second. But um, uh, there's three fur nodes, three birch nodes, and two cedar nodes that you'll need to get in order to make these crates. They're all around Calfian. I don't know the exact CP you'll need to unlock all this, but I'm guessing it's somewhere in the 40 or 50 range. Um, because there are some nodes, like this is one of the cedar nodes down here, Longleaf Tree Forest. One of the, um, it's fur or birch that are in Treant Forest. And to get to Treant, you got to come down from Calfian. Uh, and then over through here, and there's a gateway, and, you know, it, it gets, it's pretty costly. But if you're going to be doing trading, it's a good idea to have all these nodes unlocked anyway. So that's the fir, birch, and cedar. And then obviously in the, um, cra in the uh, simple crafting menu, you want to chop that wood into planks and then chop the planks into plywood. Um, and then for each pack you make, it's going to cost you uh, five um, birch, five fir, and five ce cedar plywood, and then one blackstone powder. Um, how it, there's a, a, a trade or skill one of your workers can get that allows you to craft two or three timber crates at a time. Um, I know definitely you can get two timber crates at a time, and I've heard reference to a three uh, crate at a time uh, skill. So um, I haven't gotten either of those. Hopefully I do one day. And so, yeah, you want to build them down here in Trent, and then... Uh, once you do that, uh, you've got them all built up. Use the transport system in the game. Transport them first to uh, Port Ophiria. Uh, and then from Port Ophiria, you transfer them over to Altanova. And then from Altanova, you go to Ancato Inner Harbor. Now, the node chain going there, all the nodes you're going to have discovered, for the most part, um, through questing. Uh, until you get up to about uh, here, Shakatu Village. Um, from there, you need to run down into Gahat's Bandit's Lair and go to the lowest elevation point. Keep going down, 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 and then you'll unlock, you know, you'll discover the node. And then after that, you'll be able to see the node manager, Rafa, and you can go talk to him. That one's not too difficult. However, I will mention there are snares and things um, that will trap your horse or trap you while you're running through here. So definitely go on foot. And, uh, you know, the elites there are actually pretty tough. So uh, just be prepared for that. Now, this area is the tricky part. Um, you know, you head, you follow the road, um, you know, into these mountains here, and you keep heading east. And if you set your auto path to this mountaintop, it's going to take you about here, and you'll have to run up a cliff face. Obviously, you can't do that. You're not Peter Pan. So keep going around the back of the mountain. You'll see some ledges you can hop on, and then you can maneuver yourself from there onto this mountain and run along it and get Okan, and that will give you this uh, bamboo valley node. Um, and then, so head back down the way you came and keep heading east along the road. You're going to notice a split. One split is going to go to the right and stay flat. The other one's going to go down and to the left. Take the down and to the left ramp. Keep going down into these canyons. Down, down, down. Following the canyon down until you hit 
this water pool here. You can't miss it. It's got a bunch of elephants in it and around it. Then on the other side of the water pool is Hamar. That's the uh, node manager for the Cyrus Canyon here. So um, once you've gotten Hamar, run back out the way you came. And instead of taking the left path, take the right path this time. It stays flat. It goes along this uh, ridge here. And uh, you're going to go through like a little tunnel, uh, you know, archway. It's not very long. And once you come out, you'll see another tunnel archway. Just before that, on your right, is a ledge. Uh, hop up on that ledge, hop up on an, the next ledge, and, and keep heading southwest until you get up on this mountain here. you got to kind of maneuver yourself up there. It's not really easy. Actually, it is easy, but it's not obvious. Just keep working your way up onto this. And then head west and get to Rhea. And uh, Rhea is standing just in front of a palm tree. You can't miss her, and uh, that will give you the Kamach Canyon node. Now, if you can't figure out how to get up here, you can continue following the road east until this opens up. You come to a clearing and head south, and uh, you can get up on the back side of this ridge on the eastern side of it, and then, you know, run all the way back to Rhea. So after you've gotten that, uh, head out of this area, follow the road, you know, out, and it opens up into a big savanna, and there's lions and stuff running around. Keep heading east along the water, and eventually you'll see Ancado Coast. There's a big building there with fences and people running around. You can't miss that. Um, and so uh, snatch that node, and then from there head east, and you get about here, and there's like a cliff. Um, you, you got to maneuver yourself down with your horse. It's really no big deal. I managed to get down, no problem, and then uh, and then get to Ancado Inner Harbor here. And uh, once you've got that, you've got the full node chain unlocked. Now, if you're doing the Valen um, you know, if you want to take them to Valencia and, and work with the desert buff, uh, trade buff, then head south along the road here. Um, you'll see this observatory here on your right as you're coming down the road. Grab that because that's the only node you need beyond Ancado to get to Valencia. And, uh, and then that's the full node chain going to Valencia, um, you know, from from uh, Shakatu Village. Now, all this other stuff, it's all easy to get to. It's along the roads or your questing is going to take you there. So uh, I'm not really going to explain how to get every single node from Trent all the way to Ancado. Um, so, yeah, that's essentially it. You know, for the crates, you're getting just over 100,000 um you know, per crate without the buff, which if you do the math, that's about what it costs in materials. However, I mean, if you take into account that when you sell your lumber on the market, uh, there's a tax, right? So um, it is, in most circumstances, more profitable to make the crates and turn them in, but it is a lot more work. And you do have to factor in that you're paying transportation costs for all these crates and you're spending a lot of your time doing it. So is it really worth it? In my opinion, probably not without the Master 2 buff. Um, so I'm just stockpiling all my wood until I do get Master 2 trade. Um, yeah, and for leveling trading now, um, you know, you used to be able to do this neat little trick where you picked up a bunch of stuff um, here at the east side of Valencia, and then you could run them over to Finto Farm here and turn them in and just overload yourself and roll there, and it was very easy. I mean, it was, it was still a pain in the butt, but you could do it quickly. <clears throat> They've In February 2017, they put in a minimum distance before you can get XP, which is 500 meters. And so um, you can no longer do that. What I'm doing to try and level my trading as quickly as I can is I'm doing, uh, you know, a circuit where I just take materials from Velia to Heidel, Heidel to Tariff, Tariff to Altanova, Altanova back, you know, and just keep going around like that, probably the old-fashioned way. Um, but the other thing I'm doing is I'm building a lot of junk crates, like iron crates, copper crates, stuff like that that I can pile up and turn in in one large chunk. And when I do that, I'm going to be using uh, Suit T, um, you can see some here, Suit T, that gives you 8% to life skill. I'm also wearing um, a plus one uh, trader's clothes. I have some trader's clothes in production now, which I'm going to make a plus two uh, because I want that extra 5% XP. And then the other last thing you can get is, and this is only right before you turn in your large, you know, sum of junk crates, but um, <clears throat> you want to get this Elixir of Time. It gives you 10% to life experience. Um, consuming one. It only lasts five minutes, so like I said, rec I recommend getting all your junk crates together, pile them up, hundreds, thousands, whatever, and then um, taking that and then turning them in to get that 10% on all those things. And uh, yeah, it's a slow go, and I'll keep you guys updated if I learn any tricks for um, trading. I did see a video, and I'll put it in the description, um, giving myself work here, but I'll... I'll this guy, um, He's what he's doing is he's... Um, He's got a uh, storage box from the Heidel uh, warehouse manager, and he is um, putting the box up over here somewhere. And it, you know, the box takes, um, 
you know, he's able to just dump, like get a bunch of trade materials from the trade manager in Heidel, dump them into his box here, and then pick them up up here and then turn them in close by. You know, and it saves him from having to run back and forth. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty neat method. I don't really want to do that, but um, I'll put a link to his video in the description because uh, it is interesting, and, and, I'm, and I'm pretty impressed that he figured that out. And, um, and yeah, so that's it for Timber Crates. Um, you know, he said the last video wasn't really a guide. Uh, I was just trying it out. But just to summarize real quick, you get all the birch fir and cedar nodes around Calfian. And, uh, you know, you want to build your crates in the furthest distance from their destination. So build them in Trent. Um, transport them via the transport system all the way over to um, Ancato Winter Harbor via first Port of Furia and then Altanova and then Ancato. And then from there, you take them to Velia and you get the Master 2, tr um, you know, the Desert Trade buff. Uh, first before you turn all these things in and uh, and then we discussed the node chain which um, you know as I said it's pretty easy all the way up to Shakatu village and then I explained how to get the rest of the way um, the rest of the node chain and um, and that's it obviously you want the node chain unlocked because without it you're only going to get 30% of the value of your crates and then you're definitely losing a lot of money um, and yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, you know, I'm glad to be back in the game. I'm enjoying it so far. And if there's any specific videos you guys want to see, I'll make them. I'm planning to make several videos on topics that are not really covered on YouTube. Um, so that's coming. And, uh, you know, all you guys that like, comment, subscribe, um, you guys motivate me to make more videos. I never really intended to make more videos than that one beginner guide I made just because I, I felt like there was a hole in the beginner guide, you know, section in YouTube for this game. And I just wanted to fill it. But uh, I've gotten such overwhelming positive response that uh, I feel like I should make some more videos. So if there's anything specific, let me know. And uh, thanks, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.